Hey guys, it's K2 Karama again, and our next box that we're unboxing today is uh, the one I've been waiting for. It's the Japan Crate, and I keep seeing advertisements for this box. Um, I've seen a couple of videos of people opening them, uh, so hopefully we got something good in this one. It got um, a little bit damaged in the mail. I don't know what the um, policy is on that, but hopefully nothing is messed up and it won't be a problem um i did get an email they send you emails pretty regularly though and it said like it gave me a little hint about what the box was going to be themed about and then it said if i wanted to completely ruin the surprise i could click on this link but i like surprises so we didn't click on it and i didn't tell chris <laughs> okay so we have it looks like oh okay it's a little comic strip it's a really nice like pamphlet um about the their shipping to us so off the shores of japan a kraken is trying to get the candy and it's a kraken trying to get the candy off the ship and says you're no match for the squad of ninja then there was victory we won now off to make to omake candy island bonus candy it's a little bit in broken English, so it's kind of hard to read. <laughs> but <laughs> um, next stop, Port California. Where the, how do we reach the port? How many boats and boxes are in line? Boxes finally on land, truck arrived, okay, okay. And now the final stretch, just need to pull a few all-nighters. Japan um, Crate had a little bit of a, um, uh, what do you call it? Um they were behind on their boxes because of some of the candy it didn't get imported or something. So they they put an extra something in everybody's box or a couple of things because there's a lot of little stuff in here. It's actually yeah, pretty cool looking. I see some really cool stuff in here so far. Um, so it tells me what my mini candies are, my original sized candies, and then my premium contents for this box um, on the back. And it just kind of tells you about it. So I guess if you want to read... There's the comic. Comic. Uh, this one's cool. So I guess we'll follow the the format and see what it says on the okay. card. So we have this is the Ujiya Milky, classic Japanese candy with a taste similar to sweetened condensed milk. Starts off as a hard candy and becomes a soft, chewy taffy. It's all in Japanese, so I don't know what it says. <laughs> But it looks pretty cool. Then we have Look -a La Mode Chocolates. What's better than chocolate? Chocolate with delicious filling? Try a mix of our flavors. Banana, almond, strawberry, and caramel. Which one will be your favorite? So there's four different flavors in there. I guess it's just plain chocolate. Tasted like something else. Um, next we have... I'm not sure if there's, I guess there's just one of the eight. Yeah, okay, so we got this one. They're Ann Pan Man Pero Pero Lollipops. Pero Pero. It's a popular anime starring some funny characters and has turned into lollipops. Favors and flavors include orange, grapefruit, peach, melon, strawberry, soda, and cola. Will you get Ann Pan Man or one of his friends? Let's see, it looks like we got a friend probably, because the little Ampan man is like a red guy. Yeah. And I think this is grape flavor because it has little tiny grapes at the bottom. Or grapefruit. It's, it's like a little bunch of Oh grapes. yeah, there are actual grapes on it. <laughs> so yeah, I guess that's one of his friends, but of course it's in Japanese, so I don't know what, what it says Roro on it though. Well, they all say Roro, according to the picture. So that's a lollipop, should be kind of cool. We also have a chocolate umbrella. Huh, this looks cool. Another Japanese classic. These guys just celebrated their 60th anniversary. Silky smooth chocolate shaped like folded umbrellas. You'll get either milk or strawberry. Hmm. Um, ours is green. The one in the picture is blue or red. So I'm assuming this one's probably milk. But still cool. 
All right, uh, we have, let's see, this one, yeah. This one, which is part of our original. Taki Yaki Gummy Do-It-Yourself. So it's octopus cooked in dough and covered in toppings. It requires a special pan and a bit of skill. Can you master the art of takiyaki? Don't worry, no actual octopus flavor. <laughs> so, um, I guess it's a, you know, do-it-yourself like we got in one of our other Japanese-themed boxes. I think this one's my favorite so far. It's got a lot of cool stuff in it. And let's see, we paid... Let's see, Japan box. Japan crate. Japan crate is $30 a month. I got $3 off for the first one, so... Um, it's not bad. It, I mean, it, does, cool. it does look like it's worth $30. Yeah, it's got a lot of stuff in here. So, the next thing would be... Hmm. I don't see this one. Oh, wait, yes, I do. It's just tiny. <laughs> and it's cuter than the one in the picture. It's called Fitz Nightlife Gum. Normal gum gets boring, but there's a solution. Nightlife Gum features peach, orange, and wine flavors with pieces of peach chips for more excitement. No alcohol content, so we can all enjoy. The one in the picture is kind of like neon colored, but this one's pink and cute. All right. That, that heart's upside down. It kind of looks like butt. <laughs> So we got our next thing. There you go. Is Glico Matcha Green Tea Colon. Colon. Yeah, colon. A delicious snack with a funny name. We like to imagine them as soft green tea pillows with perfectly crunchy pillowcases. So I guess they're kind of like those panda chocolates, but with green tea in them. And hmm. not chocolate. <laughs> I wonder how that's going to taste. I don't know. It says wheat crackers and on what, it, though. What's also cool, they they post all the nutrition facts on a sticker on them. Uh, I think. Yeah. Yeah. In English for us. That's all in English, too. Yeah. And this, you know. Okay. It's a pretty big box, too. Oh, yeah. All this stuff is really cool. You can definitely share it with another person. Um, Next thing. This looks cool. <laughs> Is oh, a Calpico Giant Panda Ice Cream Cone. I'm assuming it's not supposed to be frozen, so I didn't receive it that way. No freezing needed. This water, no, this wafer biscuit cone is stuffed with decadent chocolate cream and topped with a layer of airy whipped cookies and cream foam. It's like having your mailman bring you an ice cream cone. <laughs> Indeed. I wonder if it's like one of those frozen, uh, not frozen, what? um... Those yeah. space, um, space sandwiches, sang yeah. Uh, ice cream sandwiches. I guess it's kind of like that. Okay, next thing is actually a drink. All right. This is part of our premium contents. Vitamin. It's called Suntory CC Lemon. Contains 50 lemons worth of vitamin C, but doesn't taste like it. Hmm. Like a refreshing Japanese lemonade, not too sour or sweet. Make it Suntory time. That sounds good. So like a lemonade, but... Really good for you. You probably won't get sick for a while, even just drinking half of it. <laughs> Only 70 calories per servings. It's about two servings. Um, so we'll each have a serving. Yeah. Yeah. It's not bad. Okay. Next thing is... Oh, this thing is... Kabaya Panda Cookie Do-It-Yourself. Now you can bake your own panda cookies. Includes mixes for chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. Make them all and share with friends. So this one's meant to be shared with everybody. And it's got three different flavors in it. So I'm pretty excited about that. Even though that panda looks hella crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then our last item before our bonus item is Country Ma'am Vanilla Cookie. A Japanese take on an American classic. Chewy cookies with soft centers stuffed with chocolate chips. You find yourself craving more. That sounds delicious. And it's tiny, which really sucks because we're probably going to want more. Oh, shit. <laughs> I do like that they're Japanizing American food instead of us Americanizing. Yeah, because I think <laughs> the fast food over there, American fast food is getting popular, like KFC and 
I don't know if uh, I know McDonald's has like some stuff. I don't know. Okay. So our bonus item for this, our box being late. This is pretty cool bonus item. Is a Super Mario chocolate pop, and it's very detailed and super cool. Kind of don't want to eat it, but <laughs> it looks. It probably really tastes good. really. Good. <laughs> A detailed chocolate recreation of Super Mario's head. It comes with a stick, so it's easy to hold. Almost looks too cool to eat until you taste it. I bet it's really They cool. already know. But yeah, that is everything that came in our box. It's like 4, 8, 12. 12 items. And I'm sure the retail value is way more than 30 bucks. Yeah. So... I think it was pretty cool. We'll probably continue to get these. You guys let us know what you think. And use the coupons if I get any. Yeah. There was one on the site, though. They usually try to give you something good for your first one. So yeah. 27 bucks instead of 30 hmm. So we got uh, another Danklo box coming this month. And Loot Crate. Yep. And 1UP box. And a one-up box. Um, of course, we'll have our... Um, we already got our raw, raw spice bar for this month. Um, but we'll have a kitchen table passport one on the way because we have that for a year. And then... Did you say mystery box? No. We, We're still waiting on mystery box. I might need to check on that. I already did. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's it for this video. Um, more stuff on the way. Um, and please uh, subscribe because uh, we definitely need some subscribers. And the companies are more than willing to do giveaways and give us a free box to give you guys. So, so yeah, I, I, I'm thinking once we hit about 500 subscribers, we'll start doing uh, giveaways and then uh, maybe some uh, contests and stuff like that. All right, so uh, like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff.